Hi guys! Good morning! Welcome back here again to our channel. So we can say we are here in our garden. Parang kakaiba ngayon yung weather guys. Parang siguro may nasusunod na naman. For this, for this month of August and beginning of July, ang daming wildfire dito sa California guys. So anyway guys, nandito tayo sa garden natin. Nakakatuwa siya guys. Hindi pa natin siya hina-harvest. So, tingnan natin. But yung aking keeper, na-harvest ko na siya guys. Kasi, nauunahan ako ng mga, ano tawag nito, ng mga squirrel. But, mayroon pa rin, mayroon pa rin second batch na pabunga. Kasi guys, nag-chance na yung weather natin. Ang weather natin dito ay, Magiging anthem na guys, okay? It's almost one month na lang guys. Nakaka-excite. Kaya ako nakaganito kasi protection. Kasi mainit pa rin. Mainit pa rin ng konti. Medyo humid. May kakaunting wind. Mag-work kasi ako ngayon. Okay? So, nakakatuwa kasi amazing yung aking mga sitaw. Oh. Hindi ko inaasahan. Late ko na nga siya tinanim guys. I plant this late. Late at July, I think mga this is only this is only one mga almost three weeks ganun siya kadalip sa kanyang pagbubunga o oh. ang dami so hindi muna natin ay hindi muna natin siyang hinarvest kasi I'm planning to make a seedling this guys okay so I'm very amazed dito sa garden natin we have so many of, we have plenty of harvest guys. We have also many, I'll show you the cantaloupe here. This is so big guys. Oh, can you see that? Big. I have seven of that. This one. <laughs> Nandito ako sa silong ng ating ano, garden. So, itong ano natin, itong squash na to is napakasarap siya guys. So, ay, nagda-dry pala to. Oh, wala siyang ano. Nakakaano siya. So, ito na yung atin jackfruit. Progressing. Nakakatuwa yung mga ano. Ito yung atin Persian cucumber. Ito yung mga pinunla ko guys, is tutor ko lang kayo. I think this is the ano, kasi pala, patapos na yung summer natin. Itutor ko kayo dito, eh, introducing my new member of my family here. This is our chocolate peppermint. So, I have so many idea it's come to my mind to, to make some money, you know, that the Lord put in my mind. I think I can propagate some of my plants and then sell that to the farmer's market. And then the money that I'm going to sell, I will help to the people, especially to the needy. So here in California, plants are very expensive. So example this one, this is the, this is a Kit Kat oranges. I think some of this also is a calamansi. So, I propagate this from the seeds. So, thanks God that, you know, the works of my hands, the Lord bless me. And this is also one of my collection. This is a tropical fruit. This is a jackfruit. So, I have also my, I think here guys, this is the, my big mango. This is already a mango. This, this mango is already uh, many leaves. I think I'll be the when the winters come. I'm thinking to have to buy the they call that the <clears throat> green the greenhouse. So here it's prospering, talaga, guys. They're getting wild. So there are so many fruits over there. So I'm thankful to the Lord because you know. Even this is this part of my garden. For me, myself, it's already sustainable. If I do well planting and gardening, I can't buy any more 
vegetable in the market. It's good and healthy if you grow your own vegetable and more delicious. So nakakatuwa talaga, nakakatuwa talaga guys kasi ito yung aking mga bagong pananim dito. So as we can see guys, I'll show you the This is the papaya. They're already growing. So I'm thinking to transplant this one into the bigger container. So I think today is the perfect timing to to transplant because the weather is not too hot. It's a little bit um, gloomy and you know the sky is covering with the clouds. And I'm not really sure this is from the fire or this is from the natural weather. So our okra is here. They are doing well. Hopefully it will have a uh, fruit before winter. So I propagate also some turmeric this is a turmeric ginger so i'm so happy because i have plenty of that and of course the different kind of tomato so before anything else guys let us pray um because for me prayer is is the food for my soul i start my day in prayer with a corporate prayer with my family and my children we knelt down together today we knelt down together we pray already for all my brothers and sisters in christ all the pastors all their family members the children the children of the pastors the the wives of the pastors and all the missionary we pray already today so i received so many prayer requests So one of them one of them is in our prayer list to pray for all the pastor especially what's going on what's happening around the world so God knows and I do believe that the Lord will protect them supernatural protection like the book of Daniel the three the four Hebrew children Meshach Shadrach and Abednego and Daniel and the Lord cover them protect them miraculously and supernatural protection So, I do believe that the Lord, when we call upon the name of the Lord, the Lord's name is powerful under heaven and earth. That's what I believe personally, guys. Okay? Let's call upon the name of the Lord because He is powerful. He is good. He is our Father. If you are the believer of Jesus Christ, the Lord will never forsake you and He will never leave you. There are so many promises in the Bible, guys, that we can claim in ourselves personally, like me, that he always said, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you, that I can say in confidence that the Lord is my helper. Let us pray now, guys. Not only I pray because I am here in this, um, in the social media here in YouTube, but... For me, this is the reason why we are here. We have a ministry of prayer to reach out people, to get closer to the Lord of Lord, to the King of King, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter what going, what's going on in our life, guys, if we have Jesus in our life, it's everything is impossible to the Lord. For us, let us call upon the name of the Lord. So let us bow and say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment that you are here with us. Thank you for another opportunity that you here with us, that we can call upon your name, that your name is powerful under heaven and earth. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that all the people will confess that Jesus is Lord and their knee will shall bow. Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful moment. I Again, I pray for all the, uh, even though we already prayed, For all the pastors, for all the missionaries, the wives and the children, Father God, our focus prayer, Father God, that you intervene, that you send angel, come around them, Father God, supernaturally, wonderfully, miraculously. Father God, I do believe myself that you give me the authority. This prayer is an authority. I pray in the name of Jesus Lord Father God, that you will hear my longingness, that you will hear my cry. I am your servant, Lord Father God. I pray for I'm standing in behalf of my brothers and sisters around the world. 
to pray for them that you will intercede father god that your hands is not too short to touch them that your eyes is not too far to see them their needs father god that you have so many legion of angels that you will send them father god miraculously and supernaturally to cover to protect them father god wherever they are father god they are in the middle of of this storm father god especially all the missionary in the middle east father god i pray for them father god that there is a covering and supernatural protection father god from the enemy in the name of jesus lord god thank you for hearing this prayer that you will send angel to your people father god to your workers to your servant all over the world in jesus name thank you lord father god have mercy on us have mercy on me lord father god i pray for all the people that they open their eyes so they can see you open their hearts so they can feel your love father god we thank you lord for this channel father god we thank you lord for this platform father god that we are allowing to say the wonderful name is Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lord. We thank you, Lord Father God, because we don't we don't ask any any permission to person to anybody, but only with you, Father God, that you are in control. You are in fully control of everything. Father God, thank you so much, Father God, for answering this prayer, Father God. That you will cover your children, your missionary, your worker, Father God, around the world. That you're covering supernaturally in any shape or form. Lord, thank you for this prayer. Thank you for hearing this prayer. Thank you, Lord. I pray in confidence that the Lord of Lord, He is the King of King, the Lord of the universe, that hear this prayer. Again, there is a prayer request from the Tabernacle Bible Baptist Church. I pray for Pastor Martin Dikito and their members of the church, Father God, that you provide, that you sustain the needs of the church, Father God, and every ministry of their church, Father God, that you are in fully control in Jesus' name. Father God, I pray for all the churches, that they are the voice of God, that they are the feet of God, that they are the mouth of God, that they can speak the truth about the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, Salamat Lord. Salamat Lord sa prayer na ito Lord na dininig mo Lord. Thank you Lord and I pray in confident Lord and I expect the best because you are the best. Thank you Jesus in Jesus name I pray. Amen and amen. So thank you for my friends, my relatives, brothers and sisters. I'm doing my job because Jesus the Lord he deployed me. This is my job. Siya ang nagbibigay sa akin ng, siya ang nagsusustain sa akin. Kaya ako nakakatayo, kaya ako nakakapagsalita, nakaka, nakaka-work ako, all my task I do all my task because of the Lord of Lord. I give all the honor and the credit belongs to God because kung hindi ko to gagawin guys, talagang, you know, I give, I give back. All the honor belong to the Lord of Lord and to the to Jesus Christ. So I must I'm thankful, guys, that the Lord gave me this wonderful garden, that He gave me a supernatural garden. So anyway, guys, dito naman tayo sa atin garden ngayon. Marami na akong pausbong dito. Oh, ang dami talaga niya, talagang super dami. Tapos, guys, ito yung pinakamalaking squash ko. Oh, grabe, nakikita niyo ba yan, guys? Hmm? Yan oh. Sobrang dami. Nakaka-amaze talaga si Lord. <laughs> Grabe guys, mayroon na naman akong bagong collection oh. Sobrang sobrang nakaka-amaze. Ito guys, ang ating kamatis tinabunan ko lang kasi kakainin siya ng mga animals. So ito na rin ang atin ready to harvest. So guys, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, bye-bye for now.